Hello again and welcome to another one of my Adam's Corner videos. I'm Adam Long. I host a podcast weekly and once a month I do a show where I highlight all of the Blu-ray and 4K media releases that are coming down the pike so fast and furiously these days. And these videos are a counterpoint where you actually get to visualize what I'm talking about on the podcast. So if you listen to the podcast, I and uh, there are some of you who have been li listening for years. I used to be the uh, co-host of Movie Geeks United. I was the home entertainment correspondent there for almost a decade. And then uh, once that show ended, I started my own podcast, Adam's Corner. And that's, uh, that's what this is all about. So if you're new to what I do, uh, let's get down to it, shall we? Uh, most of what I have, in fact, all of what I have are uh, releases from Warner Brothers and Warner Archive on this episode. So it's going to be a exclusive uh, episode devoted to new re releases from either Warner Brothers proper or Warner Archive. And the first one we're going to talk about here uh, is the complete uh, Super Friends collection. Now, if you came of age in the 1970s, as I did, uh, the nostalgia factor is off the charts for this show because it was a staple on Saturday mornings for as long as I can remember, really, I, going back to when I was in second, maybe first grade. Um, looking back on these episodes now, you know, there was... Uh, the dramatic conflicts aren't nearly as good as what you get with some of the DC animation these days. The stories aren't as strong. But the nostalgia factor alone makes this set worth your while. You've got every single episode of the Super Friends in uh, one collection there, as you can see. What do you get? You get Super Friends, 1973, 78, 80, and 83. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and that includes the Lost episodes. Uh, the all-new Super Friends Hour is, um, that is also on here as well. Challenge of the Super Friends. The World's Greatest Super Friends, Super Friends, the Legendary Superpowers Show, and the Superpowers Team Galactic Guardians. That's 3,142 minutes of entertainment on Blu-ray discs for you Super Friends fanatics out there. And you know who you are. Now, here's how the set is, uh, here's how the set is housed uh, as far as the discs uh I think there are 16 discs in this set, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but uh, yeah, there's quite a few. Let's uh, let's see here. Two, four, six. Uh, let's see. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Yes, sixteen there. So uh, yeah, the um, Super Friends Complete Collection. Uh, you know, what can I say? If you grew up uh, on Saturday morning cartoons in the 70s and early 80s, you're going to want it. So um, there is that. As far as television is concerned, that's not the only offering that Warner Brothers has uh, given us. We'll talk about this one. This is a much anticipated release and kind of announced late in the game, only a couple of uh, weeks ago, I think. Uh, nobody knew it was coming down the pike until just maybe a month before it actually did, and that's uh, The West Wing, the uh, multiple Emmy-winning show uh, created by Aaron Sorkin. Seven seasons on uh, Blu-ray for the first time ever, so you get them all uh, up, upgraded to high definition, high resolution, 156 episodes, 28 discs, hours of special features that have been retained from the original DVD releases, um, there's over 20 commentaries here, behind-the-scenes featurettes, unaired scenes, gag reels, and much, much more. So let's take a look at this, shall we? So, uh, taking this out of the packaging, you get uh, two separate uh, um, sets there. The first one is um, seasons one through four, and it's uh, packaged very similarly to what we just saw, except you get a booklet with this one uh, that gives you some... Uh, idea of what uh, what the bonus materials are and all of that stuff in the name and uh, the, all of the episodes uh so yeah very very similar packaging that warner brothers is doing these days and um then you have the same thing uh, seasons five through seven which um you know there you go so uh yeah and uh like i said very similar to uh to what you just saw 
So anyway, it's great to have the West Wing and uh, the earlier seasons. Uh, Aaron Sorkin had some personal problems, uh, and so he wasn't able to contribute as much to some of the later seasons. So they're not quite as uh, good in terms of quality. But uh, this show, generally speaking, is a and was a good show, and it's so nice to have these uh, upgraded to uh, high-definition format. So uh, thank you, Warner Brothers, for the West Wing. And uh, next we have... Uh, two releases from the folks at Warner Archive. And uh, one of these is uh, I Remember Mama. This stars uh, Irene Dunn. Oh, let's get the glare out there. I can't get that glare. There we go. Irene Dunn, uh, starring in uh, George and directed uh, by George Stevens, also starring Barbara Bell Geddes, who was known as uh, um, the mom on Dallas. Uh, you know, Mrs. Ewing, I guess you would say. Um, yeah, this is, uh, I'll just read you the blurb from Bosley Crowther, who was the New York Times critic at the time. This is on the back of the, uh, the disc. Performed by an excellent cast, the film should prove irresistible. And, um, yeah, this is an adaptation of the play by John Van Druten. And it's, um, uh, it's about, uh, the mama of the film's title. Um, she's an immigrant. And, um... She um, she had to leave her country because all of her siblings and in-laws were already setting down roots in the USA, and she did the same, and family was where she fit best, so right in the heart of things, she went. And uh, this was the... Uh, George Stevens, of course, is a well-known filmmaker. This was one of his... Um, the transition of his career. Like, before this, he was doing a lot of breezy uh, pre-war films, a lot of comedies and things of that nature, and this was a more serious turn for him. It's a lengthy film, two hours and 14 minutes, but it's a very effective film. Um, the um, uh, the transfer is good on this, as to be expected. Uh, Warner Archive does solid work, and, uh, you know, you can look for your bit rates to be between 35 to 40 megabytes per second on this. And uh, speaking of that, the uh, transfers on both of these other uh, titles I just talked about, the, the West Wing and the Super Friends, uh, you know, Super Friends is, uh, I would give this probably a, a, a B plus in terms of transfer because it's, it's animation that's from the 70s, but it's solid. You know, it's the best you're ever going to see on that. And uh, the West Wing looks really good. Uh, I tested a couple of those on my system, and those are really good transfers on those. Um, so, moving along to the final title in this batch of the recent things that I've received, and that would be um, Black Belt Jones, which is, um, let's get that, uh, let's see if we can get that for you there. Black Belt Jones. Yeah, this stars Jim Kelly. Uh, he was um, uh, coming off of the uh, previous year's um, uh, film... Um, st that was also directed by Robert Klaus with Enter the Dragon, Bruce Lee film, uh, Robert, same director. Uh, he plays a uh, in former international karate champion, and uh, he's trying to, uh, he's got a karate school that's being threatened by uh, hoodlums, basically, and so he has to defend it. Uh, he, you've got to also Scatman Crothers in this. Uh, he's always great, of course. I don't have to tell you that. Um, and... Um, yeah, this uh, also inclu includes the original theatrical trailer. Uh, that's the extra you get on the uh, I Remember Mama as well. I forgot to mention that. You get a trailer, and that's it for the, the extras, in terms of extras for these two releases. But um, again, solid transfers on uh, a solid transfer on Black Belt Jones. And uh, this was, uh, I remember seeing trailers for this on some of the trailer compilation tapes that, would, uh, that we would get in the video stores when I was a young lad. So uh, I've never, act I had never actually seen the film until I actually, till the uh, the disc release. Uh, good transfer again, 35 to 40 megabytes per second. Uh, good stuff there. So um, yeah, uh, those are the roundup of new releases that I have from uh, Warner Brothers and Warner Archive. Um, I would recommend anybody who's a fan of these uh, to pick them up. Uh, you know, it's nice to have all of these in high definition. And, uh, you know, we want to support these labels so they'll keep doing these sorts of things. And uh, I encourage you to do just that. 
So thanks again for watching my videos. Uh, feel free to like, uh, subscribe, comment. I love interacting with you guys or gals, whoever. Uh, you know, it's nice to just uh, meet like-minded film fans and fans of physical media in general. I always enjoy adding more to my f fan and friend circle. So uh, until next time, keep those discs spinning.